So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem Beam wants Ladoos. So Tota Beam wants to eat the maximum number of Ladoos in Dhualakpur on Independence Day. The houses in Dhualakpur are arranged in the form of a binary tree and have Ladoos the same as their house number. So Tota Beam is standing at his home initially. Find the maximum Ladoos he can eat if he can go to houses within a maximum distance k from his house. The number of Ladoos at his home should be also included in the sum. Note, every house has distinct Ladoos in it. So, let's understand the problem. Okay. So, basically, we are given a home, okay, in general. And we want to find the maximum Ladoos which are uh, at distance k from the home. Now, every house is distinct. So, let's understand with the help of an example. Home is equals to 9, k is equals to 1. So, we can see here we have 9 Ladoos. So, home is equal to 9 only. They have already said this. Okay. So, home is equal to 9. Now, we have to find the Ladoos which are at k distance. So, we have at one distance. I can go to this node. At one distance from 9, I can go to this node as well. I can go to this node as well. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. I will add them just. 1 plus 9 plus 5 plus 7. This will be equal to 14, 7, 21, 22. Okay. Okay. This is the solution. Of first test case. Now let's take this. Home is equals to 40. Now when home is equals to 40. So from 40 we have to go to two distance. So one distance here. Now similarly from here. I can go two distance more. One and one. Because here I have traveled one distance. Now here I have one distance. This has also one distance. Because two. Two distance. Two distance. So what I want actually at most two distance. You can see. Okay. So basically they are at two distance. It is at one distance. I want all the nodes which are at two distance. If, if we have two, we want one, two, all nodes which are at one distance, two distance and itself as well. That is zero distance. So this is somewhat the question. So before going to the approach, let's understand the intuition that what we can do. We know that every root has two things, left and right. Okay. We know these things. So that's why we only go to from root left and right. We can't go to parent. So how can I go to parent? Because let's say I have zero distance here. One distance here. Then two distance I will go ahead. Here. Like two distance. Then similarly I will go ahead. Two distance. So I can see this is somewhat the like the web that is created from zero to one. Then two. Like this. This is somewhat the web is created. Okay. For every like zero I will go to two two distance like this. Okay. So. How can we go to this parent? Uh, so what I can do, I will do one thing. I will create a parent map. Okay. How can I do? Let's say I am doing the traversal from the root. I will say I am going from root to root left and root right. Okay. Okay. So I will say for, for left, this is the parent. For right also, this is the parent. So when I, when I will going to traverse the binary tree, so what I will say, for every left or right I am traveling, I will mark its parent. So let's say I am here, root left and root right. For root, I will call root left and root right. So I will say MP of root left is equals to what? Root. Similarly, MP of root right is equals to root. That means for root left, parent is root. Similarly, for root right, parent is root. That's what we are going to do. Okay. So if still didn't get, don't worry. When I drag in this, you will get it. Okay. So let's do this. So first thing that I'm going to do, find home and make parent map. Okay. So basically we are given home is equals to nine. So first from the, this, like from this tree, we have to find where this home lies. Obviously two home will not have nine, nine. Why? Why? Follow the third point. Every house is this thing let do. So obviously every home will have different, different. So that means for nine, I will have only one node exists. Okay. So that is fine. Now, first I will find this 9. So how can I find this 9? So I can use BFS. I can use ZFS. Okay. Similarly, I have to make a parent map. Uh, also, I have to do traversal for that as well. So how can I do this? BFS or DFS? Okay. So should I do different BFS, DFS for both of them? No. One BFS also. Work. Thus, we have to find whether 9 exists. Mark this as home. Okay. Similarly, just uh, make by traversing, just make map or you can say map name is parent. So parent of root left, 
is equal to root and parent of root right is equal to what root like this you will do okay so let's come to dry run of this first step okay so initially what we do let's say i do bfs okay so for bfs what we have we have one in the queue initially so for one we have two childs left and right so i will say i am at level one so at level one i am at one now in second level i will be going to add what two and nine okay now this one come i will add two and nine now similarly at next level what i will do i'll remove two i will say it's child four and this four and null null will not be taken similarly nine will cut five and seven like this okay so when i found nine when i found nine i will say like node star home is equal to this why because we want address of that location of that so home will be equal to the address of what nine okay so when i find this nine i will say address of nine is obtained because when i start when i start this one distance two distance i have to start from nine only okay so now uh while traversing what i will do i have a parent uh, map okay so within the parent map i will say that when i removed one i will say parent of one will obviously be nine. okay so there is nothing there similarly for parent of two so when i say one has two and nine so while taking two and nine in the queue i will say parent of two is equal to one similarly parent of nine is equal to one this is really small task like we have to mark while pushing in the queue I will say parent of 2 is equal to 1, parent of 9 is equal to 1. Similarly for 8, I will say parent of 8 is equal to 4, parent of 19 is equal to 4. This will happen like this, okay? So why, uh, So how this will help? So let's say I created this parent array, parent map. So 1's parent is null, obviously. 2's parent is 1, 4's parent is 2, 8's parent is 4. That I have already done. Let's say in the one, first step by doing the BFS or DFS, I have done that. Now in the second step, what I will do, I will do level order traversal to take nodes level ones okay so for that what we have configuration like first we create a visited array for every node actually we can't create the array because there is a node location we want to mark the location as visited so that's why that's why what we do uh we create a visited map okay which the first parameter is node star and second parameter is as int or bool you can say bool okay so like this okay so for every node i will mark visited why Let's see, let's see, let's home is equals to nine. So first we take this and in the queue, we initially add this nine. Let's say I am adding nine's address. Let's say I'm, okay. Now, now when I remove this queue, now we have option left and right. But no, we have one more option. What? Parent map. Because I can go, because I have to go in web. So I will say, I can go now above also. I can go here also. I can go here also. So then I will check if root left exists. Yes, exists. Add in queue. If root right exists. Yes, exists. Add in queue. If root, uh, if roots parent exists, that means parent of nine exists. I will say nine's parent is one. Yes, it exists. Just take it also. Now, now I will mark the visited of nine as why now while taking these elements in queue first uh i will add some sum is equal to nine that means first level people taken okay now within the queue we have five seven okay now now let's say i take five uh let's say i take five so sum will be equal to what nine plus five that is 14 so i will say sum will become now 14 okay now now sum has left no right no sum has above yes but i will say i will say i'm going back to the level i don't want this that's why i'm marking it as visited i will check whether whether any element is taken yes if it is taken that means that means i will say that this is visited i will not traverse it so five is also done now similarly i will go to seven so seven has 20 and 11 so let's say k is equals to two so then I will take it, then I will add in some and side by side, I will take this and, and in that way, I will get all the, when k is equals to two, all the nodes which are at k distance and I will get the sum that I require. That is only the maximum sum. Okay. So this is the question. So first thing that you need to know that for every node, 
for every node, I am going only three direction. I can go only three direction, left, right, or above. Because I can have only one parent for every tree. There is only one parent. No more than one parent. Okay. For every node, there is only one parent. There is only one parent you can see. So that's why we can we have only three direction. So for every node, I will go to parent, left or right. So in that way, also I will mark this visit because every point I can go above as well. I didn't want that. So that's why what I will be going to do. I will make the visited array and like this. So let's try to code up the approach step by step. Okay. So first we write a function to find the home. First we find the home and make the parent map. Okay. So for that we have let's say nodes are home where which is stored the location of home. Okay. And here is a parent map which will make us traverse from every uh, node to a parent. Okay, let's create this. This is parent what map. Okay. So I, I will make a make parent function, let's see, which will make the parent and find the home. Okay, fine. So we will pass the root and we have home. Okay. So we so actually we have home variable initially. So I will let's say make this king. Okay, let's make this king home as king variable. Because otherwise it will create confusion for this variable, this variable. Okay. Now, now what we can do, we can do BFS, DFS. Let's say I will make BFS traversal. So what is BFS traversal? Simple. What? So within BFS Q root push root and while Q becomes empty, if IT left, IT right, if it is not like that. Okay. So initially for uh, we have only uh, two extra things. Like we have to mark the parent and we have to find whether there is uh, we have to find the location of the king, home that I am saying as king. Okay. So I will say until the queue becomes empty. This is a normal VFS traversal auto current is equal to Q dot parent Q dot op if current left. Okay. So I will say Q like Q dot push current left with extra thing. I will mark that parent of current left is equal to current. Okay. Similarly, if current right. I will say what Q dot push current right and parent of current right is equal to current. Now uh, at the every point I will okay do and just this is the BFS. Now one thing I also want to search like searching the home. So I will say if if current's data is equal to equal to home, that means it is the location of that king. King is equal to home. Okay. So now this is all about what we have done. Okay. So king is equals to current. Current. Okay. Because we have to add the location. Okay. So next thing, second step we have to do. What was the second step? Second step was to find the level order traversal. Do the level order traversal to take nodes level orders. So let's do the level order traversal. Simple. Okay. So level order traversal, traversal to take the nodes level wise. So I will say, okay, just do level order traversal. So void, let's make this level order traversal. Now within that, I have to pass the, I, have, I don't have to pass anything because I have king from that. I will start level order traversal as we're doing from nine. I will start level order traversal up right left like this okay so uh, i don't want to pass also we have parent i don't want to pass because obviously it's global variable one thing that we have to pass k why k because obviously i want how much distance i have to go for level of traversal okay so now now uh, we have some is equal to zero so we can make it int very int function why because we will be sending the sum from here Okay, so sum is equal to zero initially. So Q node star Q. Okay, so yes, Q node star Q. So Q dot like Q dot push king. Whatever is the king, I will start from level or traversal from there. And we we will use another map to mark the visited. Why? Because I can't mark like zero visit. It's a node location. I can't say like that. Node star comma bool visited. So 
base zero form is equal to true. Now it's king, so it's king is equal to true, obviously. Okay. Now steps is equal to zero because I have to go at most case step, not more than that. Also, one thing that I want to include, they they are wanting maximum. So you might think that we have negative elements, but obviously in constraint it starts from one. So you don't want to worry whether I should take negative or positive. Okay. So now, now while Q becomes empty. So within the Q become empty, we have Q size obviously what in the level order of slide do like this. For every level, I have to go. Okay. So in auto current is equal to Q dot front. Current at auto current is equal to Q dot front. And sum plus is equal to current data at current level. Q dot pop obviously. You can do it above as well. Okay. And then if current left exists, as I was saying, we have three uh, locations where I can go from the node above, left, right. But like for five, I can't go above because it's already visited. This is the parent I am from coming from. So I will say if it is not visited, then only I can go. If it is not visited, visit it because I've taken is equals to true. And then just say I am adding in for it use for next level. Okay. Similarly, we have second uh, option. Like I can go visit current right. And then I will say visit it of current right is equal to true. Q dot push current right. Okay. Similarly, I have parent of current. If parent of current exists, otherwise it will be null. So if parent of current exists, and if it is not visited, because sometimes it is visited, visited of parent of current is equal to true q dot push parent of current and then done now now i will say if steps will become k then break because obviously if i have taken k steps that means like here one step here not second step here not third step i am at here here now obviously i i will not go to next steps why because obviously i want only k distance nodes okay so if steps is equals to k then just break and at the end what i will return obviously some that i have added of all the levels k levels okay so from the home node so let's call these all things so first thing we will find king and make the parent array so for that i will call the function make parent by passing the root and the home value okay and then i will return whatever i have done the level or traversal i will return and then within that i will pass key so i forget adding steps plus plus because obviously at every every time when i'm going from one level i will do steps plus plus for next level i will do steps plus plus so i forget it so let's try to compare it in the code and check whether it's working fine yes so let's submit the code Yes, so it's totally working fine. So this question is really copy paste variation of uh, burning nodes in a tree. Like this is a question. So this was all about code. If you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.